It's a business, that's fine. But you are doing something which is illegal. Illegal? Yes, it is. Filming is not illegal. It is. Get the drone no, over. You're not allowed to. Royal Mail won't have that. Okay. You'd have to get written permission from Royal Mail to take any photography, any any pictures of this site. Welcome to the video, guys. It's very wet today. So apologies, I'm going to keep wiping the camera. But we have to get out and film today. No two ways about that. So we're here at Oxford Medical. In Oxford, believe it or not. Very high security looking place here. Next to Royal Mail as well. Uh, going to go around the side and have a look. It says uh, staff and visitors that way. So presumably walk on this service road around here. Got a little Royal Mail Depot as well. So it might be worth doing a little video on that as well while we're here. We know Royal Mail like to uh, misbehave, don't we? But we'll see. We shall see. This looks like the way in. There's no public footpath around here. It's just a road. So, and it's gated. But I think only one of the gates is working. So this gate, presumably, yeah, it's locked open. Interesting. Okay, we're inside anyway. We'll have a quick walk over to reception. Just to let them know what we're doing. Looks like somebody's already already in the know-how. Somebody's already coming out looking at us, so probably coming over to us. Maybe we'll stand under this roof, take shelter. Can I help? Hello. Sorry? Yeah, let me stand under there, mate. I've come to do a video today on the site. You can. It's not allowed. So I'm not. I'm not going to be inside. I'm. I'm going to probably. Yeah, no. Outside the gate. I'm not allowed out there either. You, you outside the gate, you can take videos in, but yeah, you got to do it by appointment. All oh, right. Okay. So. So this isn't public around here, no. No. Right. No. And the plan was to go back round to the gate where the deliveries are. Do it there. Yeah, but you can't go inside that gate. No, no. Do it outside. Yeah. And when the, when the rain knocks off, I've got a drone in the bag. Take the drone over, have a look above. I don't think you'd be able to do that. Oh. Unless you get by a notice. Do you want to go and let them know? <laughs> it's not for me. Do you send Your security, email? right? Yeah, but you send them an email. Ah. The company an email. I'm going to do it anyway. So if you want to let them know I'm doing it, then if they want to stop me, they can come out and let me know, right? Yeah, OK. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. If you go out, outside yeah. the gate now. I'm going to go back round to the other gate. I'm going to go back round to the, the main gate. Yeah. The delivery I'll gate. I'll let you out. And, uh, oh, the gates are shut. Yeah, they shut automatically. Ah. I thought it was locked back. Yeah, the, the, the gate's open for the, the vehicle to have got the MPR cameras. But it says visitors this way as well. Yeah, but it's by appointment. Yeah, but if I was walking in, how, how would I get in? Do you know what I mean? You ring. Right. A... I thought that gate was locked back. Yeah. They don't, they don't. Ah. Okay. So I said on the camera, I said, that gate looks like it's been pinned back. Yeah. No. For access. No. Ah. Well, I'm going to go around to that gate. Okay. I'll film from there. Okay. And then I'll get the drone up. But let them know I'm doing the drone. So if they want to come out and, you know. All right. Cheers, mate. Yeah, so, so back round to the uh, big gate. Not sure what they're going to say, but he was quite quick to come out, wasn't he? I mean, I've only been here a couple of minutes. The drone will only go up if it stops raining. Trying to get this camera clear of water. Is there anybody in this uh, security hut? Yeah, someone in there. Nobody. 
Yeah, I'm just doing a, a drone video above your above the site today. So I've been told to let you know. Why do you do that? I just feel like doing a drone shot today. Okay. I want to see what's going on, on over there. I can't see from here, you know? Right, okay. Could you stand outside? Because that's the private property. Yeah, but I've had to come here to tell you. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. I've got that. Okay. All right. Bye. Oh, there we go. Everyone's fully aware now of the drone going over. We'll hang around here a little bit. Talk on camera. See if we can find out a little bit of information about this company. Oxford Biomedical. See what they uh saying about it. Oh, Biomedica. There's no L. I thought their sign was perhaps broken, but it's not. Oxford Biomedica. Cool name. Yeah, so let's have a look. Current contracted value signed in 2023 of 124 million, which is an increase of 47% compared to 85 million in the year ending. December 2022 excluding COVID-19 vaccine manufacturing ah haha -ha. I don't know why I didn't click but uh, that's interesting isn't it Oxford Biomedica of course why didn't I remember the name <laughs> yeah we're definitely going to be doing a video here today then let's hope the rain knocks off it's annoying when it's raining. I have to keep wiping the camera. Need to get some hydro, uh, some water repellent spray, like cars have. I have a t-shirt because it's uh, better for wiping it, you know? Oxford Biomedica signs agreement to acquire ABL Europe from Institute Meru, consolidating positions of global pure play, CDMO. Interesting. Yeah, so these guys make vaccines. <laughs> um, pretty obvious now, isn't it, what they do? And I wasn't aware of it when I turned up, which is silly, really. But there we go. So, they are a viral vector specialist at the heart of a rapidly growing industry. Oxford Biomedica is one of the original pioneers in gene and cell therapy. We're also, we're already collaborating with some of the world's most innovative pharmaceutical and biotechnology companies towards a shared mission to make cell and gene therapy a universally accessible clinically, clinical option even. They wrote clinically on their site, but clinical, I think, would be the right word. So, now we know what they do. Let's see what we can see from here. But the rain has knocked off. So it may be a good time to take the drone over because I'm pretty sure it's not gonna stop raining for very long. So I think now would be the best time. Wonder if any police are going to try and seize the drone today. So, we're going to get the drone over in a minute. All right. Do you still make the vaccine here or not? Sorry? Do you still make the COVID-19 vaccine here? I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Ah. 
just checking with that lady whether they still make the COVID-19 vaccine here. Well, there he is, Mr. Security Guard. <laughs> Hello, mate, you all right? Well, there it is. There's the main door. Main front of the building. Big old place, to be fair. Doesn't look that big from where I'm stood. Got some metal fire escapes going on there, look. But security guards following us, so we're going to get out of the way. We're going to get over here. I'm quite conscious of time. If it starts to rain, we're going to have to get it back. Got another car coming in there. Is that undercover cops again? Quite possibly. So, the yard. Let's have a look, shall we? That car is turning around and going. Right, let's get back to the task in hand. So there's Royal Mail next door. Security guy there. And there's the yard. Got a couple of uh, gates there. Couple of skips. Full of COVID-19, presumably. Got the gases, probably Bok gases, is it? Yep. Nitrogen, probably in there, something like that. And a rear car park. Let's have a quick look at the car park. Got a tank there full of something. What would that be? Hmm. More COVID-19 solutions probably. What's that? Some pipe work with the little mini barriers barrying it off. That security guard's still in the car park. It's almost like he's waiting for the police to arrive. <laughs> what have we got down here then? Just the normal generators and stuff. Not generators, sorry. The little uh, air machines. What do you call them? I can't think of the word. But yeah, all, all, all big places have those outside that we've seen. What have we got there? The little porter cabins for the toilets. COVID-19 toilets, yeah? There he is, look. I wonder where he's going now. He's going in the gate, is he? No, he's checking the gate was locked. Let's get out his way. Let's have a little look at this front door, shall we? There we go. 
Boy America. <laughs> they just heard the drone they have. <laughs> Got police coming past, can you hear the sirens? All right, guys. Well, we're going to land the drone in a minute, so. Yeah, he's telling them to tell somebody, isn't he? And in the meantime, we've got the police coming past here, I think the police. Let's have a little look, shall we? What have we got coming past? Can't figure out which way it's coming from. I think it's coming from that way. Fire engine. I wonder where that's going. Taking photos, are you? Huh? I see you taking a photo. Permission to do so or not? To do what? Permission to do so or not? Sorry, to do what? To fly that, taking pictures around here. No, no one knows. Hey? No one knows. Why well, actually, they do know. The security guy knows. That guy there. <laughs> see you watching me, mate. <laughs> Say again, mate. I'm just making a little video on this uh, vaccine company today. Okay. Interesting, isn't it? Uh, well, yeah, what's it relating to, though? So they make the vaccine, don't they? The COVID-19 vaccine here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. people are interested in looking at that, you know? Right, so okay. take the drone over so I can see what, what, what they're doing. I yeah. can't see from here. Right, okay. It's fenced off. Through this part here, mate, you're on my side, though. Your side? You're on my side. This driveway entrance is pulled under my... Line. Right. So, like I say, if you, it's if a shared you, driveway. Uh -huh. It's a shared driveway. It's a shared driveway, but it falls under the ownership of yeah. Royal Mail. So you're on my part of the site. The so what are you saying? Hey. What are you saying? What am I? What am I saying? Yes. If you haven't got permission to be operating the camera on my site, mate, then. then I don't need permission to operate the camera on your site. You do. It's a shared driveway. Right. Okay. No so you can't kick somebody off a shared driveway, because, for example, I could have I could have business there. Mm -hmm. You don't know that. Oh, that's why I'm asking. So, that's yeah, but, why I'm asking you what your yeah, intent yeah. is with the cameras, why you're on site, why you're yeah. flying a drone round. Okay. Okay. Do you think okay. if they had a security issue, they'd come out rather than a Royal Mail guy? Does that make sense? Uh, I've, I've got responsibility for this site. Okay. It's not a security risk to your driveway, is it? I'm not saying it's a security <laughs> risk. I have to ask question right. as to why you're using a camera. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. I did plan to do a video on your site after. Really? Yeah, maybe, have to, maybe. I have to decline that offer, mate. To be honest, why would you want to do a video on our site? I wasn't sure yet whether to do one or not, but what, for what reason? Again, interesting for people to see. To see what? It's a vehicle workshop. Zoom in. Get the drone no, over. You're not allowed to. Royal Mail won't have that. Okay. You'd have to get written permission from Royal Mail to take any photography, any any pictures of this site, anything to do with Royal Mail. But if I can do it, I can do it. I mean, you're saying this is your driveway. Yeah. It's shared essentially, but either, either way, I'll stand there. There's no stand there and make the video, couldn't I? I mean, for example. 
Oh. You can take a video <laughs> anywhere you like, mate, but I've got yeah. to be honest, if you're going to be taking pictures or images or anything to do with raw mail or any of raw mail sites... You've got these vans here, so yeah. I'll get a quick video of them probably, and then... For what, though? For YouTube. For YouTube? Yeah, yeah. Right, OK. For what purpose? So the public can see it, can't they, then? Well, the public can walk up here and see it any time they like, mate. Yeah, but they've got to walk up here to do that, haven't they? They watch the video. They yeah. can sit at home, eat their lunch and just watch it, right? Yeah, I so appreciate it's that. easier for that. Are you recording on that GoPro now, are you? Or it's always on, mate, yeah. It's always on, so yeah. you're recording me. Of course. You're going to be putting me on YouTube, Of course. Yeah? You're going to be putting me on YouTube. <laughs> right, okay, no problem. Things will change now, I guess. Hey? Eh? I suppose the things will ch change now. Yeah, okay. Right, well, uh, from, from my point of view to you, mate, you need written permission for any photography, any pictures to be taken from the Royal Mail. Okay. So, just to be clear, mm -hmm. is that from this driveway or is that generally? Generally, from any Royal Mail site. No, no, but I'm saying, standing here right now, you're saying it's on your property. The, but the, it's, a shared, it's a shared property between Royal Mail, a shared access point, basically. Yeah, 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 Royal yeah. Mail, okay. So if I followed your thing to say it was only your driveway and I stood out there, that's okay, right? That's what I'm trying to say. If I make the video out there, mm. obviously I can, I can fly the drone from anywhere. I don't have to be here to do it, right? So fly the drone from anywhere, yeah. There, so if I go back out there, off, off, if you want to be deliberately awkward about it, mate, and yes, you want to define a boundary... No, I'm trying to work with you, because if I make the video from here... What, though? Yeah, but what, what purpose is your video going to serve? YouTube. YouTube, yeah. Make money. To make money on YouTube? Yeah. yeah but, so you're just going to take random photos and videos of Oxford Biomedica and well, Royal Mail? I'm almost finished there. I spoke to them already. I've done the drone shot. Right. So next. Maybe. I wasn't sure whether to do one here or not yet. I wasn't sure. Right, okay. Maybe. Uh, if, I, if, I, I, if I were you, mate, I would make contact with Royal Mail before you try and publicise any video. I'm making contact now. <laughs> or oh, you're mate. making contact. I'm, I'm much further down the, uh, down the pecking order. Okay? Right. So Royal Mail, as a company, do not allow photographs or anything to be taken without permission given. So when I said I'm trying to work with you and you said I'm being awkward, if I go out there no, and do no, it, what I'm saying then is you're trying, you, you, basically what you're saying is you're going to stand over there, but you're still going to put a drone. Yeah, over basically, the yeah. Shop. So then you're happy. I'm not happy. I'm not on the land. I, I appreciate it. But I still get the, the video, land, right? But yeah. my point to you is make contact with Royal Mail's head offices and request permission before you go and publicise anything on YouTube. I don't need to do that, do I? Does that make sense? I know what you're saying because you work here, you're trying to follow the rules, but. Yes. I, I don't have to do that because from public land I could okay. I've made a video, well, right? Your drone, mate, you do, but like I, say, I wasn't sure whether to do a video yet, but I'm just saying if I did. Well, my advice to you is to go and gain permission first. If I, did that, permission. if I did that at every place I go to, yeah. it'd take a long time, wouldn't it? It would, but you're <laughs> funny, mate. If you want to make money, you've got to keep on the right side of it. Royal Mail do you not want people unlawfully taking pictures and images of their sites. So it's unlawful? Huh? It's unlawful. As far as I'm aware. Right. As far as I'm aware, yeah. Okay. I mean, you need to take my permission to put me on YouTube. I don't need to. Right. Okay. That's fair enough, I don't need to do that. I mean, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. only got you're only in the video now because obviously we've spoken about that next door, but mm. you know. Right. Okay. I'm not sure whether to do a video here yet or not. I mean, I was 50-50 and then you come over and spoke to me, so I thought, well, now you've maybe. I, 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 I couldn't <laughs> speak to anybody that's unfamiliar. That's in or near our sites. So you're taking a photo over there? Huh? So you're taking a photo of me over there? Yeah. Yeah. That's right, it's just to make people aware that you're on site and you're flying a drone. Is it your work phone, is it? Hey? Is it your work phone? Does it matter? It does actually, yeah. Why is that? Because you're working at the moment. Yes, yeah. So Royal Mail are data handlers, right? Same. So they're, they're data handlers. Yes. So essentially, your CCTV, if I request a copy of the, that, the Royal Mail have to give that copy, right? If it's of me, right? So the same applies for anything you take on your phone whilst you're working mm -hmm. in a working capacity. So if I request a photo of that today and they come to you for it and you say, oh, I don't know where it's on my personal phone, that's not good for you, mate. Yes, okay, good. I've Just letting you know. I, I'll tell you what I've done. There is a security team that patrol this entire estate. Right. And I've just made them aware that somebody is down here flying a Okay, fair enough. Okay. I'm just making you aware to keep that photo. Just. Mm might get you in trouble. I'm not going to request it. But okay. if you were to do that with somebody else and they do request it, just be aware that mm -hmm. it's under GDPR technically because you're working for Royal Mail. Yeah. Um, but anyway, probably not going to do a video here, mate. I mean, you've been more than accommodating in your interaction today. My best advice, if you've got any intentions of making a video, 
Uh, I would just request that you speak to all. Is that security, is it? I don't have no idea who that is. It? No idea. You sure? I have no idea who that is. No one you recognise, no? No. But no, my, my, my best advice, if you would like to take any pictures or any imagery of raw mail, request. If I do do a video here today, are you going to let them know that I'm doing it? Are they going to come back out and kick off or should I avoid it for that reason or I'm, I'm, you know what I mean? My advice to you is if you would like to take photographs or any imagery of raw mail property, raw mail site, speak to raw mail officially, head office and request permission. Right. Okay. Okay. That's, that's my best if, if I did, if I did carry on and do a video, mm -hmm. do you have to let them know and say there's a guy doing that, or yes. are you the person doing that right now? Right. Well, no, I'm. I'm speaking to you because you're pretty much on the. Entrance you you, you of just the, seen me, yeah. The gateway there. Okay. On a shared piece of ownership between uh, Royal Mail and Oxford Biomedica. Okay. It's an interesting site, though, isn't it? There. Very interesting site. Used to be a mail centre. They make the vaccine there. I wasn't aware of that until I looked at the name and I thought, wait a second, mm -hmm. recognise that name. Yeah. Yeah. Do they still make it or have they moved on? No idea, mate. I have no. nothing to do with the site. I don't know what goes on inside those gates. That's what I'm trying to find out as well on the video is if they still make it there now. I have no idea. I have no idea. I, all I know about this place is this is where Boris Johnson came is it? Uh, and visited when he was Never. Uh, Prime Minister. Um, so yeah, obviously it's got, uh, ah. it's got importance from that point of view, I suppose, from Boris. When we were all in lockdown and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, mate. So, cool. But yeah, like I say, my, my <laughs> best advice, if, if you're hoping to take any pictures of imagery or anything like that of a Royal Mail site, contact Royal Mail. Not say, sure yet. I mean... I'm aware. Just ask, ask the question on an official standpoint and they'll, they'll tell you their legal standpoint on it. But let's say I did I that and they say no. I don't know entirely their legal standpoint on it. All I know is that I have to come and ask find out why, what the reasons are, why okay. they're taking pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I say, um, yeah, from a security point for Royal Mail on the whole, okay? Okay. Do you, do you know what attracted me to do a, to do a Royal Mail site? Go on. Um, I don't know if I can show you. I did a Royal Mail site in uh, Reading. Right. There's a Reading one, Reading East. Yeah. No, uh, oh, I can't be bothered. Uh, well, to be fair, I wasn't even videoing there. It's a bit like here, I was doing, I was walking past for another site. Mm. The guy there sent me video in. Yeah. Straight away. Uh, a fucking camera comes near me, mate. I'm going to fucking take it off you. It's the first thing he said to me. Mm -hmm. So I thought, do you know what? We'll do a video here today. Right, okay. And he, it looked really bad for, the, for that brunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So any Royal Mail site now, for me, stands out more than the other deliveries, purely because staff can be. I know it's only one guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've seen another video from another guy on YouTube who did a very similar video somewhere else, and he had even worse experience. Okay. So sometimes we look at places and go, okay, they've got a bad name on YouTube. Let's have a look. Mm, okay. Let's check, test how they're doing, you know? Right, okay. So it's like some kind of public audit then, is it? Or <laughs> well, just, to um, see, just to see what your interactions are with people. Yeah, part of it is, yeah. As I say, I wasn't planning to do that today. I walked past and thought, oh, Royal Mail, that video before. <laughs> Maybe I'll do it after. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Okay. Then you spoke. And I've been debating it. But it's not the biggest site. It's a workshop, mate. So it's a vehicle it, workshop. Right, is that all it is? Nothing that goes on here other than fixing and repairing the vehicles. Okay. So you know, part, if I did a video there today, part of the video would have been interaction. Okay. I've had that. Mm -hmm. Unintentionally had that. So oh, the only yeah, other part yeah. I'd do is I'd zoom in from here to that yard, that workshop, which would take about 30 seconds. Right. And then i get a drone over. Yeah. So it wouldn't actually mean doing a fat lot more. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Look. Like I say, mate, my, my point is you're, you're pretty much in the, in the entrance way there to the gates of the site here. Okay. So your site's there and, oh, there as well. Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. Okay. Yeah, no worries. I'll stay here if I'm going to do it, mate, so. Yeah, yeah, by all means. But like I say, if, you, if you've got intentions of broadcasting any imagery that you find from here the raw mail, I would go and request I mean, I will be. Permission. If you need to let them know, just, just yeah. say there's a guy planning on whatever you just said, publishing some well, footage like from today. Say, my advice to you is to get hold of Royal Mail, head offices, make contact with them and just say, I have imagery of such and such. I'll be honest, I won't be doing that. It, it takes a lot of time right. for a no sometimes, you know. That's my advice to you. I appreciate um, it. All I have to do is ask you to stay off of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of the gateway, out of the entrance. No worries. Be safe here because obviously there's vehicles coming in tonight. Yeah, I only one, stopped I here to talk to you. To a car out here with you 
not paying attention to vehicles coming in and out because you're flying a drone. Well, part okay. of flying a drone is to be safe. Well, that's fair enough, mate. You're <laughs> not concentrating on your drone. You're not concentrating on my van. No, you? I mean, part of being a pilot for a drone is to make sure I'm not distracted by cars coming in and out, so I, I need to stand on the path that's out fine. the way that's of the cars. Fine. Okay, that's yeah. fine. No don't, be, don't be worried. All right, thank you very much. Thanks, mate. All Cheers, right. mate. Bye. So, back to Biomedica. Didn't expect that interaction to happen, but I just seen him looking at me and uh, he was taking photos of me when, it, when my back was turned as well. Got Mr. Man up there, hello. Oh, they're closing the shutter. Oh no. And they're closing the other shutter. Oh, what a shame. But I don't think we're going to be here very long. I don't think we're going to be getting the drone over Royal Mail because the rain started again now. Look at that. Um, and there's not much to see anyway. Day since last accident, 487. Oh, hello. Someone, oh, it's the same guy. I'll hang around a few minutes and see, and then we'll go. Oh, he's on the phone. Same guy, isn't it? Yeah, it's the same guy. Job's worth. Just get back in your Royal Mail and just carry on with your job, mate. Nothing to do with you, what we're doing out here. So you can see it's a public path there. And this is a shared access road for Biomedica and Royal Mail. Um, he's back out looking at us. He's not happy. He's telling them now. Do you work there, guys? Yeah. Are they still making the COVID-19 vaccine or not? No. Finished? Ah. Cheers. Ah, they're not making it anymore here, apparently. Got a guy coming out of the doorway. No, he's just pushing it away. Cleaner, maybe. Is this security, is it? Yeah, it's got campus security on the vat on the car there. Interesting. Can I help you with anything? It's a nice car. Can I help you with anything? No, can I help you? Yeah, he's just filming something. Oh, I thought you were a taxi. No, I'm not. Security? Yes. Ah, what, what's wrong? No, nothing. I just didn't report it that you know, somebody's filming. I, I am, know. yeah, I'm filming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can't do that, I'm afraid. This Why not? A this is a private property. And I'm afraid you're not allowed. Yeah, here, but this road. No, no, this is nothing. If you see in the main entrance there, this entire thing is a private property. But this road that you've came in on? It is not. This is a private estate. Right. The whole thing, this side, north side, yeah. south side. And I'm afraid you're not allowed. Well, I am allowed to film, I'm afraid. No, you're not. I'm afraid I am. Because, no, 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 you are in the private property, sorry. Yeah, but it's a publicly accessible road. No, this is, even though this is a private, you need to take a permission from our park office. So go and get permission for me. Sorry, but yeah. this is not how we do it. I'm telling you to do it. Yeah, so private property like different businesses, yes. if I'm filming on there and I'm trespassing, they can kick me off. But here, no, well, this, no, here on the road, sorry, here and this whole road is publicly accessible no, road. I'm sorry, if you see the sign in the front of the entrance, it clearly says that this is a private property. So who maintains this estate? We don't. Are you sure we about that? People don't. Right, OK. So I'm just, you know, the nicely asking you yeah. that you are not allowed. I am going to continue filming, I'm afraid. I need to call police. If you need to do that, what, what, what do you think the police will do? Well, I don't, my, that's irrelevant, but, you know, I'm just so nicely what, what, asking you yeah. to please do not do that. So what, what crime have I committed? If you tell the police to come, what, what offence? No, 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 that's, that's irrelevant, but you are in the private state. It's not irrelevant. If you call the police... You, you, you are in the private property. I'm not, though. We don't want you to tell me. But you can't enforce filming here. No, no. This is a private. If you look in the front... Do you have any signs saying no filming on it site? Does. 
If you go in the front... Saying no filming? It's not filming or things, you're not you even sure? allowed. You sure about that? You know, you're not even I don't allowed. think it does, does it? No, no, I don't want to argue. If you leave it, it'll be easy for me and for you as well. But it, then I won't make any money from my video. No, you can't do that one, that's what I'm saying. I've made a video here today, Biomedica, I've done that video. No, I mean... I've got a drone in this bag, I've got a drone. No, so you can't, this is private property. I've done Royal Mail. Let me, let me, let me just, uh... I've done Royal Mail already. No, whatever you do, it that's irrelevant to me. Zoom but into you these can't guys. do it anymore. You need to leave. They're laughing at me there, watching and laughing. Interesting. I'm afraid I'm going to have to continue. No, you can't. All right, I am. I'm afraid. You cannot. I'm telling you to leave, please. You're not going to leave. Nope. Not from here. Because from here, yeah. Property. So I am just kindly asking you to leave the site. Yeah, but I've, I've got another video to do further down on this estate, so... You can't, because this is a private estate. I'm going to be doing it, I'm afraid. Okay, you do what you need to do. I'll, I'll, I'll wait for the police to arrive, all right. Nice car, though. Private property. Electric Mini there. Probably from the Mini uh, factory across the road. Where's he going with that car? These guys at Royal Mail are still watching me. Watching to see if I'm going to get be kicked off. Campus security. I'd better go and get another GoPro battery. Oh, Mr. Security Guy is not happy. Is he telling these guys not allowed as well? There is his little security car with his phone, which he's left opened. Oh, these fans are getting wet. Have you called the police, mate, or not? I did, yes. You have? Yeah, yeah. I Why? Have. I have to, because you Why? Because this is a private, see if you see the sign in there? Right. There is a big sign saying that it's a private estate. You need a permission to do that, anything's here. These roads are publicly accessible. This is, even though it is a private estate. Doesn't matter. It does. See, look the sign over there. So when they come in, you just answer them, that's all. They I can't, they can't do anything, it's a waste of time, mate. You know? Well, it doesn't matter, you are wasting my time. It does matter. I just kindly ask you. It's past your jurisdiction. You leave. No. The things, if you look in there, it says, there is no, you, know, you don't have any rights of ways here. Any rights of what? Right of way. Right. You yeah. cannot come in here. Every car can drive in here. That's what I'm saying. So if you've got the business, that's fine. But you are doing something which is illegal. 
illegal? Yes, it is. Filming is not illegal. It is. Because we don't want to film the people. Tell me how filming is illegal. Listen, you need to take a permission. If you want to film it properly, that's fine. You come right, to the but office. Tell me how it's illegal. Come to the office, right? Tell you, you are in the private property. So that's illegal, is it? That is illegal, yes. You sure? You're trespassing. Not the trespassing because it it's is. a it's not a business, it's a open road. No, it's not. Look, these cars. Listen, mate. That you see the sign over there, there's a big sign there. There's no gate, that, there's no ticket saying system. That, it is a private estate. Okay? Not debating it's not a private estate. It is a private estate. Not debating estate. that. You know, so you are not allowed. That's what I'm saying. You cannot do that. Whatever you are doing is not legal. I'm making a video. It's, that's what I'm saying. So it's not legal. I think it is. People do, you know, do drugs. Yeah. So you're, you're, you're comparing my video to drugs? It doesn't matter. It's illegal, I'm saying. I'm not comparing to drugs. Are you, are you sure about that? What you are doing is illegal. Are you sure? I'm 200% sure. Do you want to check? Because you are in the private state. It doesn't matter. It does. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you just answered them. I called no. them, so you know, I did my thing, so you, you know, there's no argument with somebody who is like police. So. Right. Well, okay, it's illegal, guys. Filming here is illegal. Camper security, arc. We'll leave him alone. We're gonna uh, we're gonna walk around now. So um, we've got an Audi dealer at the end of here, which is actually the real reason I came. I didn't really plan on going to where we've just been on the video, but hey, he's made great content, so why not, yeah? Why not? So the Audi dealership just at the end of the road, but he said the police are coming, so we don't want to miss that, do we? <laughs> you don't want to miss the police, really, do we? Police make great thumbnails for videos. So, um, I hope they don't come and waste their time. But, if they do, I don't want to miss it. Now, I'm thinking they're going to take a while to get here. If at all they come. I don't think they're going to come quick. Because it's not like I'm on a business either. I'm just on the business park. But uh, he probably hasn't said that. He's probably told them uh, I'm filming on private property. Although they would have asked what, wouldn't they, and where on the phone. You'd hope anyway. Guys, we're going to pick this video back up. Uh, we're either going to pick it back up when the police arrive or it will be the end of the video because we're going to go to Audi now quickly. There's Audi there, look. Audi dealership coming up. I think Royal Mail are still watching us. Yeah, get back inside, mate. Just uh, seen the sign here. Let's check the sign out. Private estate. The Highways Act 1980, 31, section 31. No right of way. That's pretty much it. I haven't read the sign coming into the site, but I can't imagine it says no filming on there. And I'm pretty sure they can't enforce it on a uh, publicly accessible estate. Look, it's publicly accessible. 